Hi, I'm Rebecca J. Venton. Welcome to my Knit and Crochet channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crocheted shower pup. Use whatever yarn that's going to be comfortable against your skin. The recommended is a uh, cotton, but today I'm using a worse weight yarn. It's a uh, Red Heart Super Saver, and then any color that you like. All right, let's get started. All right, this is what it looks like when it's done. All right, and you're gonna need, of course, yarn needle, uh, eye hook, scissors, and of course, your yarn. All right, I'm gonna start with white, and that's gonna be. The, the loop that you hang from and it's actually a it looks complicated but it's so simple it's ridiculous and this is going to be the middle which will be hidden all right okay now first thing it says is now and this is my version of it there's so many out there but this is mine all right chain five I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take forever. I'm just going to walk you through some parts. Okay, so chain five, slip stitch into first chain made to form ring. So let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into first chain made is right here. All right. Let's get that in there. Now keep things loosey goosey. It's always easiest otherwise you really can't get the needle into or the hook into things okay so that formed the ring small one but yes it did now what I like to do is to work over my tail so it's less weaving in at the end okay so now for the um, for this part for the hanging part we will chain 40 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so let's pretend that we chained forty. It's not important because I'm not making the whole thing. Okay, so round one. Still using the white. You're gonna chain one. Oh, first it says, after I chain the 40, I'm going to slip stitch into the ring. Okay, and this is how you do that. Just right. Okay. And slip stitch. And there you got that. So chain one. There we go. I chained one. Now I'm going to do 20 single crochets in the ring. So let's do that. While going over my tail so I don't have to weave that in later so there's one two three now also what's important is as you're working push the stitches over that way you can fit them all on four five six seven eight Push it over, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, I like to cut the tail off now. I don't need it that long. Okay, now push it over, 12, 13. Okay, so let's pretend that I did 20 because as demonstration, purposes it's not necessary okay so now I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to let's see here's my first single crochet is right here so I'm gonna join with that 
and it says weave off. I mean, I'm sorry, fasten off, and then weave in ends. To weave off or fasten off, I slip stitch once. Give enough room for the tail, and get my yarn needle. Okay, wherever it is, there it is. Okay. And then I like to go back and forth a little bit. Okay. You can do that a couple more times if you'd like. Okay. Here we go. We got the beginning part. Okay, now, now we're gonna do with the main color. And I chose purple. <laughs> it's called or orchid. Okay. Do my slip stitch knot on that hook. Okay, join with slip stitch to first single crochet of round. Okay. Here's my first one and slip stitch. There we go. Okay, chain three. So one, two, three. Three double crochets in first single crochet of round. So that would be the same one that I slip stitched in to join it. So let's do three. One, two, Three. Okay, next it says make four double crochets in each single crochet around. Okay, so here's, and I work over my tail like I said before. You don't have to if it gets complicated for you and in the way. And then, so let's do, here's the next single crochet. And we're going to do one, two, three. Four. Okay, I think at this point I can trim the tail off. Okay, and you're going to do that in each single crochet around. Now, in round two, or round three, you're going to chain three like you did before. Oh, after you get done, you're going to join to the top of the chain three, okay? And then you're going to chain another three for the height. Okay, and three double crochets in the first double crochet of round. Now this, the chain three, is considered the first double crochet of the previous round. So you will do three more in that top one that you just chained three in. Okay, and then after that, in each double crochet, you will do four double crochets. And you're going to do that all the way around. You're going to join again in the top of the first chain three made, which is considered the first double crochet. Make it easier for you. All right. So here's the chain three after you had joined in there. And you're going to do two double crochets in first double crochet of round. Like I said, this is considered the first double crochet of the round. You would do two more double crochets in this top of the chain three. Okay? And then after that, instead of four in each double crochet, you will be doing three. And then you're going to join. You're going to fasten off and weave in all the ends. Here, let me show you. So here is the single crochet round. The next one where you put four double crochets in each one. 
And then the next round, there's four double crochets again in each double crochet around. And then in the final round, you can see I only put three in each one. And it automatically will form this as you go. And as you're doing it, all you're going to do is just keep on moving it around and it will find its own way as you go. All right, just like that. Super simple. And before you know it, you got yourself a crocheted shower puff. All right, and here is the pattern. Go ahead and take a screenshot and then I'll move it up a little bit for you. There's a little bit higher. Go ahead and take another screenshot. And there you go. Go ahead and finish taking a screenshot. And that is the crocheted shower puff. And once again, it's as simple as that. Thanks for joining.